In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, I'd like to show you a simple way to increase the number of background images you have available by default, no matter what kind of project you're working on. Let's assume we're going to take the video of this spokesman and we want to project him in front of a background. Well, as we show in other tutorials, the easy way to do that with a green screen video like this clip is to take it and drag it on a higher number track. And then the second thing you do is you double click on it to get into your PIP designer. Go to your chroma key tool and turn it on by clicking next to the word chroma key. Click on the eyedropper and select the color you want to make transparent. In this case, it's our green, and instantly it's transparent. We can change the color range a little bit and modify as much as we want. I'm going to settle with what I have so far and click on OK. And now if I put anything on the screen behind my subject on track number one, now he is, let's stretch it out, now he is standing and smiling and pretending to be in front of this still image of a river. It's very easy to take any image you want and put it on the higher track. But what if you're in a situation, maybe for a client or someone else, where you have a common image you'd like to use? Well, that's why we have another option in our media room. I click on the down arrow to the right of media content. I have one that says background images. And if I click here, I have some images that come default with my copy of PowerDirector. I can just take and drag and drop, and I'll choose Overwrite. And now he's standing in front of that particular image. We can do this uh, with as many as we want. We'll overwrite, and now we can change the images as often as we want from the standard selection. But the problem I have is sometimes I would like an image that's not in the default set. And I may use it quite a bit, or at least for a season. I don't want to drag it in every time or build from an existing project. Can I add to the number of background images? The answer is yes, and it's not that difficult. Let me show you a couple ways to do that. First of all, all I need to do is move into my background images panel and then right click and one of the options I have is open file location. So if I click here it opens now and I have, if I move this over, the location of my background images. The one to the left is the one that I've added already. All you need to do is take any other image that you have on your computer. I'll open another folder here And I have a folder. I'm going to change the view so we see the large icons. And these are some of the images I have. Let's take this uh, Fair Police one. Click on that. And let's drag and drop it. And I need administrator privileges to copy it. Let's continue. And now this is added to my images available in PowerDirector. I'm going to close these windows. You can actually create a shortcut to here if you want. But the other thing I found out is it doesn't automatically refresh the windows. I don't see it here now. But if I close PowerDirector and open it again, and I'll do that, and you'll see the difference. I've reopened my copy of PowerDirector. I'm going to take out both of these background images on track number one and delete them. And then I'll click from the media content, the down arrow, I'll go to background images. And now if I look carefully, I have my fair police image. And we'll stretch it out. We'll assume he's reporting about the security coming on at the fair. And so now we have him in front of that image. And it's in my directory that I can use over and over if I want to repeat it. It's a nice little shortcut that you have. Another nice feature that you have in CyberLink PowerDirector is that you can easily create an image from any frame 
in your video in PowerDirector. Let's go back to our media content and I'm going to import a file. I'll take this image of the bridge and we'll bring that into our media room. Now if I want part of this to be an image I'm going to use, all I need to do is move to the frame that I'd like to use, hold the control key down and hit P and it will instantly create a snapshot. I'm not going to rename this and call this bridge and then I'm going to save it in a different directory where my other files were. Click on Save and now I can go back into my background content. We're going to remove this particular video. I don't need that anymore. And I can actually remove the image here. And I move to my background images. I can right click or I can actually create a shortcut if I want this to be very simple. Open the file location. You notice this is for 16 by 9. You have other background subfolders for different proportions depending on the kind of video you're creating. And then again, I can drag and drop. Let me open my other folder. And now I have the image I created and I can drag and drop it and click on continue. And it's been added to the file. The next time I load PowerDirector, I'll have that file available in my backgrounds and I can use it again just like I can the other ones.